Hi guys, welcome to 101, a media group behind the scenes. And uh, if you watched it, you'll realize I've been flicking around with names to actually call this segment. And then, of course, we're in the media, call it behind the scenes. Where we do technical and uh, business building uh, advice and strategies and share you with what we actually do, not only from a technical point of view, but how we actually build our business and build businesses for our clients as well. So that's what we do here at Behind the Scenes. One of the things I often get asked is about the ATEM switcher. We have a um, Blackmagic uh, production switcher, it's the HD model, and it has a flaw. Well, it's not really a flaw, but it's a challenge to try and get around, and that is it only has one upstream keyer. So as you see, I've just put two cameras on just to give us a bit of an example on this today. So. As we see, we've got the program one, you work on the big screen, you see it's just a single shot. So basically we'd use this for the presenter of a show. So we've zoomed in on one of the presenters. Uh, if I cut across, uh, our next scene that comes across is the two seats. So we, we've shown the presenter and their guests that they've got at the time. So as you see, it's on a green screen. Now, the challenge with upstream key is if you went into the Blackmagic palette, you will find that uh, on this part here, you'll see we've got upstream key and we can click chroma, we get given one. Now, you can't have the same backdrop if you're changing camera angles. It just doesn't work. I've loaded up a couple of angles here, for instance, so that'll be camera uh, one. So we've got a cross shot, so that might be where the presenter and the guest might have that going on in the background. By the way, that's just a bit of a video playing there. And if I go on to number two, we can see we could switch that and say we want that scene to be behind our presenter. So one's behind the presenter, and when I do that, I want that one behind the presenter and the guest. The challenge is with the key as it is done in this program, it won't do it. You only get the choice of doing one, which is a real pain in the neck. We found a workaround, it's not our solution, it's someone else's solution. So I just want to show you a bit of an example of how it can work for you. And look, it's a really, really easy piece of software. It's not mine, I don't get any affiliate links or any benefit out of showing this. I just give that link below in here and hope you guys get using it as well. Right up front, it cost me 15 euros. I'm in Australia, so that was about $25. I loaded it onto my oldest laptop I had, uh, which is sitting, trust the old laptop is sitting in here, which is just an old Dell laptop, so it's not high powered or anything like that. I did it deliberately that way just to see whether it would work and how simple it was. So I'm gonna give you a live demonstration of it as well right now. By the way, what I like about this is you can still use your downstream gear, so you can still put your lower thirds appearing on the TV and on the videos as well. Let me just set this little program up and I'll be right back and show you how it works and I'll walk you through how I got it working on my really old laptop. Okay, so I've got my hack up, I've got my little bit of software up on my laptop here. I'm gonna show you what that is. Just a quick demo first, just to show you how powerful this is. You actually can have six different scenes. For us, that is absolutely fantastic. We can mix, we can match, we can do lots of stuff with it. So the first scene is I'm gonna show you is, and I will, I've set it onto what I call my camera one. So this, when I click it, as you see now, I've got on the screen up here, you can see the two chairs. So presenter and guest together. Uh, very quickly though, I can, while the interview is taking place, as the presenter starts talking, we can click it across and you see the upstream key is now bringing in the presenter with the new background. Pretty cool. What I really like about this as well, and just excuse my turn away just so I can have a look, is I can bring in my lower thirds at the same time. So I can take it off that one. Um, if I switch back to presenter, and it is the presenter that I want the lower third to appear on, I can simply click my auto button and use the downstream key and the lower third will appear on them as well. So I really like it. So what is the program? I'm gonna move the computer across for you. It's called an ATEM Plus switcher. Um, as I said, it's got six different uh, configurations on here. The on-air button, if I turn the on-air button off, you'll see on the TV screen, the chairs have disappeared. I put it on and I get my scene. I get my green screen overlay. Really easy to use. What I do here is basically 
I've got the main camera here. So the main is, I've reloaded them by the way. So main, that's my presenter camera. That's a, what I call my people camera. And underneath here is the actual scene I want to be playing behind. I've simply told it that. Over here, we've got the sliders to set the hue, uh, set the gain, set the suppress. Set, I always have my lift on zero, by the way. We've got pretty good lighting here. Uh, I always click the narrow, the chroma key range. It was really, really easy to set up. Uh, same with one, so number two is uh, my next camera. Uh, so that's the people camera. So that's the camera that is pointing to the people. Um, and this is the uh, background. When I click there, I've got my presenter there and which is what I call my camera presenter. I always know that camera's geared for presenters. And I've got my camera two, which is my background two. It's my video coming in the back. I like to use video behind my uh, scenes, whether I'm, and I've done a river video here. Um, I just think you get a little bit of movement, you get a bit of shadow, you get people moving, you get cars moving. Cafes are probably one of my favorite spots to film and use those backgrounds. You'll see some of them coming up. And we can just go through all the different things you see uh, that one's not programmed in if it was to program that in just to give you an example let's pull this one down and let's go let's make a camera one so it's a, a little bit uh, different uh, and you see it's straight there now just on the sliders here um, if I look I can take it off with the green screen and I'll just slide it over to the right for you and bring it back in and I'm really looking for that nice clean finish. Now my gain, I can slide down and you see what the gain does, it brings that picture so you slide it up and I'm really looking to get rid of all the little bits of shadow, get rid of all the little bits of black and the messing around. Suppress just helps us, that's the screen in the background, you can actually see my crease line in the background. Hey guys, Setting up green screens is not as hard as what some people say it is. If you've got a little mark, what I do when I join two green screens together, I just use bulldog clips. I feed one into bulldog clips. The other one comes over the front and I fold it and I push it into the bulldog clips that way. Try and crease the line with my fingers. You can't see the crease line there. I've got two lights. I'm actually going to show you in another video how I've set the green screen. I have two lights only, softbox lights lighting this. Nothing sophisticated. I actually bought the lights off eBay as a bit of an experiment to see if these particular soft bay lights would work and they work perfectly. So guys, what I really like about this is you can set your keys up. So I've got key one, I've got key two. Uh, I can set up the third key. You see the background's changed now. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so three cameras for me works really well. Different backgrounds work for me. It means I can put a weather slide behind there. I can put a PowerPoint behind here, do some pretty creative stuff. People are saying, how are you feeding that in? Uh, if you watch my where I built the ATEM switch, I'll put a link to it. Um, I've actually got a Latte Panda little 32 gigabyte computer sitting inside this thing, feeding information straight into the switcher. Works perfectly. It means I can put PowerPoints on there. I can access the back end of people's websites, you know, all sorts of stuff. Really, really cool. Um, off air key is on air key. I am going to, it's called A10 Plus Chroma Switcher. It costs 15 euros, which for me in Oz costs me $25. Guys, I think it's fantastic. I'm not affiliated with these blocks whatsoever. I don't know who they are. Uh, as such to say, I found them. I'm going to give a direct link to their YouTube video where they give you then a link from their video to their website. Uh, just so you know, you're going direct to them and not through me. Um, Guys, it works. It really does work. It opens up a whole world for you on here where you can do multi-keying uh, effects, multi-upstream keying effects on your computer whilst at the same time, which is what I love, it's not interfering with the main switching panel and you can bring in your lower thirds on and off like that. By the way, that's one of my clients, Lord. Well, a bit of a break there. A full memory card. <laughs> that will teach you, won't it? I'm doing a course and I get a full memory card, so I've just switched the cards over. But guys, what I was saying is I'm gonna put that link below here just so you get it. I'll put the link to their YouTube video. You can have a watch at their demonstration. Click that link, it'll take you through to their website. So I'm not affiliated. I just think it's really good. It gives me multiple options now. Um, that I didn't have before, and I say not only can I run my three cameras, not only can I have three camera backgrounds running, it means on four, five, six, it gives me choice to bring in PowerPoints, weather, maps, you know, bring in some video footage from say uh, a drone that we've got flying, we, we hook in the drone footage with Adam from Drone Camera Action, 
lots and lots of possibilities. Six upstream keys into one on the ATEM, Blackmagic ATEM HD switcher. Hope you found this useful. Now, we do have a Patreon's channel. Uh, love you to follow us on that and give us some support. You know, the gear costs a fair bit of money, upstreaming and everything like that. You know what I'm talking about. Any little bit of support on the channel really does help. And as a special, if you are on the Patreon, stay tuned after this break because we have our patron information, which we're gonna call the 101 Business Club. 101 Business Club, we're gonna be talking everything business only for patrons, give them something extra, and it's our way of saying thank you to throwing in a couple of bucks and helping us out on the channel. As for this, hope you guys found it useful and enjoy. And until next time, have fun. And remember, it doesn't matter about all the gear. If you really wanna be successful on YouTube, it's all about being authentic. It's all about dare to be you.